Hello everyone and welcome to week number eight of 52 weeks of fiber art. I'm Brandy Lynn and today we're going to play with bobbin thread sketching. Let's start by talking about the supplies you'll need for bobbin thread sketching. You'll need a piece of fabric. Today I'm sketching a simple tree so I've chosen a landscape type fabric. You'll need some kind of stabilizer or a thin batting or a fusible fleece. I've chosen a thin batting today and I'm going to attach it to my fabric or adhere it to my fabric with some temporary fabric adhesive called 505 spray. You'll also need a pencil and paper and your sewing machine with a free motion foot. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to have to decide on the size of your sketch. A great way to do that is pull the mat out of your frame that you're going to use and turn it over and use that as a guide drawing right on the paper. Make sure you use the back of your mat so that you don't get pencil on the front. The mat can also be a great tool to determine where you're going to place your tree design on your fabric. You can move it around to decide where you want. I like a touch of green in the bottom, so this is where I'll place it. Then you simply draw a line and cut around. Once you have your fabric cut, you'll have a base for your design. Now remember, when we're doing bobbin thread sketching, you'll be stitching on the back of your fabric with a design and it will be reversed on the front. So the next step is to draw a simple tree. Now don't even start thinking to yourself that you can't draw a tree because it's a scribble tree first of all and I'll be drawing it upside down. So if I can draw it upside down you can draw it uh, the right direction. So you simply start at the bottom and you draw a straight line and your center tree is going to be thicker so you can make it a little thicker than everything else and you just draw branches from there in any direction whatsoever and they can just go off all over the place and have a few branches here and there. You can make some thicker branches going off in different directions. And remember, if you make a mistake in your drawing, you can erase it, fix it, do whatever you want, have any kind of tree. It doesn't even have to be perfectly symmetrical. Once your design is complete, you simply turn your fabric over, put your design on the back, pin it in a few spots, and you're ready to go. Now remember, you can stitch below the circle, that's fine. You're gonna have your mat on top of your design like that. So you're ready to stitch. You simply start at the bottom and stitch your way all the way up the branches. Now it doesn't matter if you stay exactly on the branch or if you stray off of it, your final design will only be in stitch on the reverse side. Now you can either just stitch the outline of the tree or stitch the entire tree in bobbin thread, but either way when you turn it over you'll see your design and you can decide if you want to fill in some more. I love the way my tree looks but my thread color is too close to the color of my fabric, so I'm going to add more color with a darker brown variegated thread. Now if you're planning to put this into a quilt, I would remove the paper by using a thinner tracing paper. You can even just dampen the edges and peel the paper away. But if you're just going to be framing it, you can simply use it as is with the paper behind, remove the pins, and you're ready to go. The whole intent of 52 Weeks of Fiber Art is to encourage you to be creative and have some fun. You can find fiber art supplies and much more at www.brandylindesigns.com. Until next time, dream big and work hard in the studio with Canadian Quilt Talk.